Nicki Minaj has always dreamed of being a mummy. Kendall Jenner and David Booker dating? Who's friends with the prince and his princess? Cardi B talks equality. Free Medicare and college with Joe Biden. It's Teen Spirit News. Few minutes of coolest news on the world of YouTube, games, technology, movies, and music. Like, subscribe, and let's go. Kendall Jenner and David Booker are adding some fuel to the frequent romance rumors surrounding them. Over the weekend, the two were spotted heading to dinner at Celebrity's Hotspot Nobu in Malibu, California. They entered and exited separately, but Kendall eventually got into Devin's car. The pair were joined by their friend, D'Angelo Russell, as well as Kendall's younger sister, Kylie Jenner, and several other friends. Despite the rumors, a source close to Devin, with direct knowledge of the situation, told ET in May that he and Kendall were absolutely not dating or hooking up. But it's been three months since then, so who knows? Dun 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 dun! To be continued. Teen Spirit News. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry seem to be fitting within the Hollywood elite pretty well. Meghan and Adele seem to have developed a friendship. While Omar Scobby, the royal reporter, cannot tell if the ladies are hanging out, he notes that they know each other pretty well. Both Adele and Meghan Megan have been involved in helping the victims and their families of the devastating fire that engulfed the 24-story Grenfell Tower apartment building in London back in 2017, claiming the lives of 72 people. After moving to Montecito, the couple is now living close to some other celebrities. Oprah is a good friend of Meghan's mother, while Harry became friends with David Foster. Meghan and Harry will also be living closer to Ellen DeGeneres and her wife Portia de Rossi, whom they have spent time with in the past. Rob Lowe and Gwyneth Paltrow are also in the friend list of the royal couple. Teen Spirit News. The rapper sat down for an interview with a presidential candidate, Joe Biden. She emphasized on the importance of the free Medicare considering the complex situations in the healthcare during the pandemic. Other two critical aspects of her conversation were free college education and racial equality. Biden promised free community college for everyone after he gets elected and free education for those with an income below $125,000. Cardi B on her side noted, I feel like black people, we're not asking for sympathy, we're not asking for charity, we're just asking for equality, we're asking for fairness, and we're asking for justice. That's all. And Joe Biden admired her values for equality and mutual respect. The candid conversation ends with Biden confessing to Cardi, I'll make mistakes as a president, but I will admit to the mistakes I make, and you're never going to have to wonder whether I'll keep my word or not. I've never broken my word. Never in my life. Teen Spirit News. The 37-year-old rapper announced last month that she and her husband Kenny Petty are expecting their first child, something that shouldn't come as a surprise to all of the Minaj's fans. The super bass rapper has been open about her desire to be a mom for quite a while, telling Complex in 2012 that she'd like to be married and have kids within 10 years. By 2022, she planned to have two or even three kiddos. Actually, there have been a couple of interviews with her when she several times declared her wish to have babies, her love for kids, and a big family. Also, she's kind of stressed that being married before having kids is critical for her. So, as hard as she can sound and seem, turns out she actually wants to be a mommy. That's all, folks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and write a beautiful comment. Love y'all. Bye!